Hey everyone, welcome back. My name's Dustin Kreis, and uh, normally I'd set this up in front of the games for a, a, a sort of a game-related video, but um, <laughs> I just don't have the energy to do that because what I'm going to talk about, and you've seen from the title, um, I don't know, man. I feel like I just watched a, an hour-long TV commercial, and that fucking sucks. Um, if you listen to the podcast, you'll know that I wasn't really impressed with Sony's, um, big reveal. Uh, I just, I, I feel like these companies are forgetting that they're making video game systems. Um, and with Xbox, it's a really expensive cable box. And I feel like the gaming stuff just got thrown to the wayside. Um, you know, and they're, they're going to be doing a big thing in E3, of course. And that's probably where we'll see a lot of the, uh, the gaming-related nonsense that they uh, are going to put out. But um, this was their big chance to sell me on this new Xbox, and um, I feel like they just wasted my time. Um, my heart has always... My gaming heart has always been Japanese. Uh, that's what I grew up on. Um, when the Wii U was announced, even though I still had misgivings about it, I was still ridiculously excited for it because I was like, great, a new console from Nintendo. And even Sony, uh, watching the um, the presentation, I was like, oh, this is kind of boring. But I know um, we're going to get a lot of um, Japanese games from you know Sony because it's a Japanese company. So, um, but with the Xbox, though, I'm sorry, Halo 5 should be a launch title. If Halo 5 was a launch title, this thing would fly off the fucking shelves. Um, and it's ridiculous that it's not. Um, what else? Let's just start from the beginning. Um, the thing got off onto a bad foot with me when they re announced the name, Xbox One. Um, I understand the title because it's the one it's supposed to be the one hub for everything um but i think xbox infinity would have been a much better title just think about game discuss or like collection videos people's like okay and up next on the infinity we have you know the, the infinity just sounds like a video game machine X, xbox one it just sounds like it just sounds like a machine and i think that's my problem with Xbox, and it's always been my problem with Xbox, is that Xbox has never felt like it had a soul. Um, Nintendo, I feel like it has a soul. Sega, I've always you know felt like those systems have a soul. Even Sony, to a, to a lesser degree, um, I feel has some sort of gaming soul. Xbox, I've just never felt that way about. And then they revealed what the system looked like. and It's an ugly black brick. And I'm like, really? How many years of you know back and forth and design did it take to come up with that? You know, um, maybe there's a good thing about them not showing what the PS4 looks like because now I'm still like trying to con you know fill my brain with all these ideas of what the PS4 could actually look like. And uh, but the the man fuck that it's just a black box. Uh, doesn't even look like a video game system. You know, I remember like when they revealed the Dreamcast and you're like, ooh, you know, or, and I felt the same way about the Wii. The Wii was just a white box, you know, and the Wii U, same kind of thing. It's like they, they don't really design these systems to look like video game systems anymore. And then they showed the controller, which I actually think the controller looks pretty fucking sleek. Um, that's the only thing about uh, the Xbox One that I actually liked. Um, it took everything that the, uh, the 360 controller was and, you know, just sort of souped it up a little bit. But they didn't really talk about the controller very much because they didn't really talk about games very much. Um, they talked about the Kinect a lot because it's really used for the interface now. And they talked about television and partnering with the NFL so you can, you know, do your fantasy roster and stuff. And it's like... It's not a video game system anymore, and maybe I'm just too old and, you know, but I have things to do the internet with. Um, sorry, I don't want to do the internet on my TV. I like to have it right there on um, 
my iPad, you know. That's what I use to browse the internet with, you know. Call me crazy, but I don't use my Xbox for that. So, um, the way it stands, um, I'm definitely going to be picking up a Wii U. Uh, that's a de that's a definite uh, pickup. And then, as far as the other two systems goes, I I'm... I'm pretty firmly in Sony's camp. Unless they really fuck that thing up, um, I'll probably definitely have a PS4. And then I'll probably eventually, somewhere down the road, buy an Xbox. And my Xbox One will be the PS3 of this generation, which I buy just for the exclusives. And I'll probably just have the Halos and Alan Wake and you know a few other Microsoft... Um, you know, a few other exclusive titles to that system. But... I don't know who they were trying to impress um, with this conference, but it certainly wasn't gamers. Um, yeah, I mean, the only games they really showed were EA Sports games, and, you know, who cares about that? Um, they really missed an opportunity by not having Halo 5, which, I mean, Halo 4 just came out not too long ago, so I understand why they don't want to release it, but just imagine a... Xbox. I mean, the original Xbox, wasn't Halo a launch title for the original Xbox? I can't remember. It's been so long ago. But just imagine Xbox One releasing day one with Halo 5. I'm sorry, the thing would sell like, I, I would probably buy one just for Halo 5 and then I would never touch it again until Halo 6 or Alan Wake 2 came out. Um, yeah. I don't know. I'm just... I feel let down because I was kind of getting excited for it and I was talking to a bunch of friends on my um, on my phone about it while it was going on and I kind of wish we would have uh, recorded a live podcast during it just so you could hear like Steven and I just being like, what the fuck, you know, um, but um, one of the big things is they didn't come out and say always online, they were being very conscious of not saying that, but they kept saying cloud powered. And whenever I, I hear the word cloud, I imagine it always being online. So, I don't know. Um, I think they're being a little sneaky about that because they know how people feel about it. But, um, yeah, Xbox One, not for me. Um, not at launch, and probably not until after one or two price drops. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm really not impressed. Um and of course, you know, E3 is right around the corner. That could change some minds, but this was their big chance to sort of reveal this thing. And the only thing... See, I still got people texting me about this fucking thing. Um, the only thing I can say about Xbox One is that it's going to be a very expensive cable box. So if that's what you want, by all means. But uh, as far as I'm concerned, I can watch Netflix on my PS3. And they didn't really convince me why I need the system because I can already watch Netflix. And so that was the sort of their big sell. It was like, oh, you can you know flip between TV and music, and it's just like I listen to music on a, on a, on a stereo. You know, I don't listen to music on my TV. It's just like I said, maybe I'm old, and maybe um, the idea of having separate devices for separate things is an antiquated uh, idea, but uh, I hold firm to it. <laughs> so, yeah, Xbox One, not for me. So, if uh, Microsoft wants my hard-earned ducats, they're going to have to work a little harder for it because I am I'm thoroughly not impressed. Um, and I was not impressed at all with Sony's, and I think, comparatively, I think Sony knocked it out of the park now um, because they actually showed some games. And talked about the redesign of the controller. They didn't show the system, um, but it seems like Sony's more in line with the idea of it being a video game system. And of course Nintendo is. Um, but for some reason, Xbox, they just want it to be the end-all be-all of your entertainment life. And um, it's not going to do it for me. So anyway, uh, just a fast and loose video, because i got to go do stuff now. Um, but yeah, I'd like to hear some of your guys' thoughts on Microsoft's reveal. I'm sure like IGN's going to say, oh my god, they fucking nailed it. But uh, as a long, long, long time gamer, 
it fucking sucked. So, yeah. All right. Uh, thanks for watching this. Take care. I'll see you next time.